In this video, we're going to practice the chord changes between A minor and G. So we start with the A minor chord, and that is placing the first finger in the first fret on the second string, bringing the second finger in the second fret on the fourth string, and the third finger on the third string in the second fret. Now, there's not any pivot finger or any real trick for changing between the G chord and the A minor chord, so it's a little bit more challenging. But let's just think about what our fingers need to do. You need to lift finger one and bring it to the fifth string in the second fret, and then move finger two and three into position, two on the sixth string, and three on the first string in the third fret. So then we lift it up, we bring finger one back down to the second string and put fingers two and three in position. And if you just go back and forth, lifting up and then moving it back into the G chord position. Okay, lift it up, put it back in the A minor chord position. Okay, lift it up and bring it back into the G chord position. And you keep going back and forth between that to make sure that you can remember where to put your fingers for each of those chords. And you can go as slow as you need to, all right? Okay, so now we will practice changing between those chords while we strum. We're going to use the eight, four, two, one strumming method. And that is where we do eight strums between, and then we go to four strums between, and then two strums between, and one strum between. If you can master changing these chords with that method, you're going to have an easier time changing these chords in songs. So we'll start with A minor. Get your fingers in position. All right, and we're going to start with eight strums of A minor, and then we'll change to eight strums of G. So I'm going to count eight strums, and as we get close to the eighth strum, we're going to want to be ready to change to G. So get that in your mind. Are you ready? Get your fingers in A minor position. One, two, ready, strum. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, change to G, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, change to A minor, and one, two, three, Now, let's change to where we do four strums between. So get back to A minor. Get your fingers in A minor position. Are you ready? One, two, ready, strum. One, two, three, four, change to G. One, two, three, four, change to A minor. One, two, three, change, one, two, three, change, one, two, three, change, one, two, three, four. Now, if that was a challenge to change those chords using four strums, Go back and try that before going to the two strums. But now we're going to change between those chords with two strums between each one, which means you have to be thinking about where your fingers need to go and change, right? Be ready to change when you're counting that second strum, okay? And you can go slow. Sometimes you need to slow it down 
to get the chord changes be without a lot of pause between. So get your fingers in A minor position. One, two, ready, strum. One, two, change. 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 One, two, and keep it there. Very good. Now, when you master that, you're ready to do one chord change between each one. So you have to be ready to move those fingers back and forth between those two chords. Okay, fingers in A minor chord position. Are you ready for the one strum between each chord change? Get ready to change. One, two, ready, strum. One, change, 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 and hold it here. Okay, so hopefully that will help you be able to make the chord changes between those two chords a lot easier. Thank you for practicing and remember you're awesome.